Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, Simone here. Today I'm really, really, really excited and you might be able to tell I'm a little bit buzzing for this video. So for the last couple of months, um, I have been organising, along with a couple of other people who I shall mention in a moment, um, a readathon. This is my first ever readathon. I came up with the idea, I got the co-hosts, I'm very excited. We've got challenges, it's going to be great and I really hope that you all support us. As you can tell by the thumbnail and by the title of this video, the readathon that I decided to create is the Scooby Doo Athon and I love Scooby Doo. I've watched Scooby Doo since I was little. My dad, a little secret fact, is, is literally obsessed with Scooby Doo. Like Scooby Doo is his favourite thing. We watch it probably every day and I'm not even exaggerating. I've watched each of the episodes multiple, multiple times. I probably could tell you who did it in every single one of them, but you know what? I'm not even upset about it because Scooby-Doo is just amazing. And I figured that it would be fun to do a readathon based on Scooby-Doo because I'm pretty sure everybody has heard of Scooby-Doo. Like, even if you don't, if you've never seen it, you've definitely heard of it. At least I would think so. Let me know if you haven't heard of Scooby-Doo. But either way, Scooby-Doo is obviously a sort of children's program, I guess, like a cartoon animated series um, of these meddling kids who um, essentially solve mysteries in their mystery machine. So a few months ago, I posted on Twitter asking if anybody would be interested in a Scooby-Doo-a-thon, um, you know, read-a-thon, and I had a couple of people say that they were really excited about it and then I asked Clint from Reads Readers to be one of my co-hosts because he responded to that, was very excited, messaged me, we had a whole conversation about how much we love Scooby-Doo and I love Clint's channel, I think he's amazing, I definitely would recommend that you go and check him out, go and check out his announcement video because they have, should all have gone up at the same time if it all works out, um, but yeah Clint is amazing so he is my first co-host. And then the second co-host that I asked was Emily from Novel Novels. Emily has a slightly newer channel. She um, started at the beginning of the year. And I consider Emily one of my friends, uh, best friends, one of my sisters even. Um, she's so wonderful and we've even met in person now, which is great. And I know how excited she was when I asked her to be a co-host. So I'm very excited. So yeah, so those are my two co-hosts. As I said, I'm very excited about it. This readathon will run between the 2nd and the 15th of August. Um, it's a two week readathon just to give you a bit of time to be able to read the books that you want. Um, this is quite a loose um, readathon. If you just want to read one book for it, you can. You can read more if you like as well. Um, there are seven challenges. There are seven challenges. Um, so yeah, let's get into kind of what the challenges are and what that means. There will also be a live show on the 15th of, Ju of August, time to be confirmed. Um, and we also, all three of us hosts, will be putting out our uh, TBRs for it um, in a couple of weeks time. So do let us know if you want to take part in it, obviously. And give, if you have TBRs and things like that that you want to do, then let us know as well. And I'll put them on into like a playlist or something. I'm very excited, I must say, and yeah, so let me talk about the challenges. So the challenges are based on the characters, so the first challenge is obviously for Scooby-Doo himself, and this one is to read, a, to read a book that starts with an R, or of course you can pick an author that starts with an R, depending on what you have on your TV and what you want to read. So um, I... For, for some quick recommendations, you could read Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier, great book, I would recommend uh, very much. You could read Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare, um, it's quite an easy read, it's quite a quick read, it's quite a short one, it's a play. Or you could read um, The Railway Children by E. Nesbitt, that is a, another short children's story um, and it won't take you long to read at all. Prompt number two is for Shaggy and that is to read a book in your best friend's genre. Now if you don't want um, or don't have a best friend that loves to read or you don't know what to do for this one then feel free to just ask somebody to give you a recommendation, that would be great too. Prompt three is for Velma and that one is to read a book with a genius protagonist. I did a video late, earlier on this year that I talked about my favourite books with genius protagonists so go and check that one out if you want some recommendations. You could read for that Ender's Game by Orson Scott Card, you could read Six of Crows by Lee Bardugo, or you could read The Girl with the Dragon Tattoo by Stieg Larsson. The last one I would very much recommend, but it is quite a big book, so it depends on how ambitious you're feeling. Prop number four is for Fred, and that is to read a book with blue and white on the cover. So um, the potential ones you could read for that are A Fault in Our Stars by... John Green, I think then. You could read um, Divergent by Veronica Roth, um, or you could read Gone by Michael Grant. Prompt number five is for Daphne, and that is a cover by book. Obviously, I can't really tell you what books you could read for that because 
depends on what you've cover bought uh, but obviously I will let you know my TBR what my one was prompt number six is for scrappy do um, the lesser known scrappy do who's actually not in any of the ones that I that we watch the little series that we've been watching but scrappy do the prompt for that is to read a book with less than 200 pages um, this could be the great Gatsby I personally did not like that book but a lot of people do and it's a shorter classic so potentially one that you might want to read could read the bad beginning by lemony snicket the first one or any of them pretty much i'm sure they're all pretty much under 200 pages um from the series of unfortunate events you could read a book that i loved it this year and that was dear ijiwale um is the main part of it um that is a non-fiction really short um like probably not even 50 60 pages at that point prompt number seven and the final prompt uh, is to read the um group book and the group book for this readathon i'm very excited about is meddling kids by edgar cantaro this is a book that was actually based on scooby-doo so this um i will really quickly read the back because i don't really want to like spoil anything i guess like i don't want to say the wrong thing so this says in 1977 the blight and summer detective club unmasked unmasked the elusive sleepy lake monster another low-life fortune hunter who would have gotten away with it too if it weren't for those meddling kids by 1990 the former detectives are haunted by strange half-remembered events that cannot be explained by a guy in a mask andy the once intrepid tomboy now wanted in two states wants answers to find them she will need kerry the former kid genius now drinking her ghosts away in new york with tim an excitable weimarana descended from the original canine member of the club they will also have to get nate the horror nerd currently residing in an asylum luckily nate has not lost contact with peter the handsome jock turned movie star who was once their leader which is remarkable considering peter has been dead for years the time has come to get the team back together and find out what actually happened all those years ago. It's their only chance to end the nightmares and perhaps save the world. So this is kind of a little bit gender swapped as well. And um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to reading this. Um, this has been on my TBR for a really long time anyway. Um, and then when obviously I decided I was going to do this readathon, I was just even more excited. This is 450 pages. We will probably talk about this in the live show, but I don't think that we'll solely talk about this because obviously i don't want to sort of alienate anybody that doesn't decide to read this one but yes this is the seventh prompt and there is a kind of like bonus prompt it's not kind of one of the main ones at all but the bonus one is to read seven books one for each of the challenges um obviously if you don't want to do that one that's absolutely fine but if you do that one you win a proverbial scooby snack Woo. Um, yeah, so basically, um, if you do decide to take part in this, you can read one book that fits all the prompts, you can read one book that, uh, you know, three books that fit all m multiple, you can just read one book that fits one prompt and that's absolutely fine. Um, like I said, do let me know if you have like a TBR put up or anything like that. I'm so excited for this readathon, I can't wait for it. I think that um, Clint and Emily have been amazing helping me organise this. A massive, massive thank you to AJ, my fiance, who um, did the thumbnail graphic um i'm so excited i absolutely love it i think it looks fantastic so yes do um let me know what you think of the thumbnail as well because i adored it give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and please do take part in um, the scooby doo let us know if you plan on taking part down below go and check out the co-host videos which i will also link down below and yes i love you guys so so much and i will see you in my next video bye